Welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, you just stop by and you're like, who's this guy? Why does he look like a random GTA 5 character? Well, my name is Stealth, and I run the Heroes Workshop channel, and I make cosplay things, mostly out of EVA foam, and today I'll be making a Captain America shield from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. I love that design. I love the uh, little details they added. Looks really nice. So, last week I wasn't feeling too well, and I only had a day to make this, and I crammed it all in. And, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a rush job, but it turned out okay. Just remember to take your time, and I'm pretty sure your shield will turn out better than mine. I guarantee. So if you want to build your own Captain America shield, the foam pepper core file template is free. You can get it below. Download the template. You can follow along the video and build one yourself. And as always, if you're new to Pepakura foam building and cosplay in general and you want to get started, this is a great way to get into the hobby. I have an in-depth video on my channel and learn all the techniques. You can build a sample project and then you can apply all those techniques you learned on a sample project on any foam Pepakura file you come across and it should be no problem. Yeah, I did the helmet a few weeks ago and then I was like, man, I wonder if I should do the shield. So I asked uh, you guys in a community post in my feed, I did like a poll if I should do the shield. And a lot of you guys wanted the shield. So I was like, sure, why not? So here we are. So yeah, I did the Captain America helmet build. Uh, you can check out the video. A card will pop up in the top right and that will take you to the video. You can get the template for that as well. So you can build the shield and you can also build the helmet to go along with it. Just don't throw the shield, man. Don't throw the shield after you're done. You're gonna ruin it, I guarantee. I know, I'm looking at you. You're like, how does he know? I feel like I'm being attacked. I just want to let you know, you throw that shield, you're going to ruin that shield. Because it's just a prop, man. It's not a real shield. Captain America isn't real. Don't do it. Don't. Anyways, here's the video. See you later. So, when you print, remember to print with the texture. Because... It's going to leave a border here. And if you don't have the texture on, you won't know where the shield actually ends. Because you're going to have to cut that line right there. Because that line is going to connect to the other part. So I already cut the border off the second page. And you can see if once you tape it together, it'll line up perfectly. So we're creating half the shield. And then when we're done tracing it, we flip it. And so on with the other pieces. These pieces here will be to separate your colors. So we have the silver and the red, and this is the outer uh, stripe. So go in this order. And you use these to trace the stripe around the shield once the base shield is uh, traced out. This all makes sense when I'm actually doing this. Okay, so all the template pieces have been cut out. Now what you're going to do is just going to simply tape all the sections together. Remember to print this at a high quality because otherwise you're not going to be able to see there's a edge ID numbers so you can line everything up. And then once you figure out what connects to what, just take some packing tape and just basically tape them all together and then you'll have your templates to apply onto the foam. This is half the shield, but remember, there's going to be a seam. That seam is important because that's what's going to give you the curve. We're not going to make a perfect circle and then try to heat shape it. Okay, so try to get as far away to the edge as possible because we need a lot of space to flip this. You're going to want to trace this line first in case it shifts, but you can just put things heavy things. I usually don't put anything, but this is pretty big. That's what she said. Put 
You're probably gonna wanna make the detail lines now. So now you can either cut this apart or you can use the parts for the template that I included. So they're gonna be a little bit odd. You can use these, it's just an option. So you'll just have to like trace and then flip, you know, kind of like right to the edge. It works too. I'm just gonna use these. Like I said, you can also cut these apart and you'll have like a perfect, you know, perfect arc for every row of every stripe. Ignore this second line. I was using uh, I, I was using this. Don't use the center. Like don't use this line here. But you can use this for something else. I'm doing the uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier uh, shield. Okay, so you're gonna want to measure this strip in half, three centimeters. So just make dots. These are just basically cutting guides. So when you cut, you're not gonna be off. So just do three centimeters in the middle of this strip. Okay, so now that I have like a basic guide, I can cut it. Okay, if you look at the Falcon and Winter Soldier shield, it has a new detail line on it versus the old Captain America shield. It has this uh, other detail line right here and these little segment things, but we'll do those segments after once we know where the star is going to be. It's time to cut this shield out of this foam and free it. Okay, so you want to cut this shield out, but I kind of want to put a bevel, an inside bevel, because I don't want just like a block. Like I don't want to see this block when I'm holding the shield. I wanted to make it look like thin metal. So if you bevel it when you cut it out, you kind of will give it an illusion. And remember to get a fresh blade for this because you're going to dull it immediately by doing this whole thing. I'm not even sure if this is going to look good. And my brain tells me, do it. Comment down below who that is. See? Right there. Boom. It's already curved. See? And you already have that nice bevel there. Okay, so take the star template. There's a star. Okay, now we're gonna do the curve line. Go from point to point. Okay, so you just wanna cut off this edge. So I would use a, probably a finer point for precision. Cause trust me, you can get pretty narrow with this uh, hobby knife. star has an inner detail as well. So we're gonna do that. I'm just doing a freehand. You guys can be neat and use a ruler. Okay, so that's the shape you're gonna want. So use this one because you still need to line it up with this. Otherwise, if you use this one, like you don't really know where the center is. So we're just constantly using the templates to create other templates. Pretty neat that way, eh? I combined Steve Rogers and Falcons star so Falcons doesn't have these lines in it I just did that myself it only has this inner detail I just wanted to add my own creative touch to my own shield but if you want to make it accurate to the show don't add these okay so now what you want to do is you want to score these lines we'll do the rest of the shield after so just take a blade just score the lines don't cut all the way through So what you need to do next is, you need to use a heat gun, go over the lines, always move the heat gun so you don't burn the foam, and then that will open up the lines and make the details stand out a lot more. You can see that the lines really popped, look at that, wow. Okay, so now that the foam is still warm, just put over something rounded and just kind of give it a little bit of a curve, just so it doesn't look flat once you glue it to the center of the shield. So I'm just kind of going on the edges here. In the center here. Don't make it too much, don't make it a bowl. Don't make it a bowl, please. 
Just a little bit. Okay. See, it has a little bit of a curve, so it's ready to uh, glue into the base uh, section of the shield. Okay, so now we did the star. We do the same thing. Score the line of the shield for the details. So first we're gonna glue this star into the center. What you wanna do is, as a reference point, use this point to this here. Okay, we're just gonna use contact cement as usual. So I'm using my rotary tool, sanding bit, and just kind of go over it and level it out and clean up all the roughness. And then after that, we'll just go over the heat gun, heat seal it, and reduce some of the roughness that we can. Okay, so there's a detail on the shield that goes along this strip here. On every point, you go to that line and you just kind of make a rectangle, I guess. You can measure, measure a straight line and then, yeah, so just make like a rectangle. Okay, let's try to find the center point. So let's do that to all the points and then Use your knife to score it, use a heat gun, open up the lines. There's your little detail. Okay, so it's time to seal this giant thing before we can paint it because if you don't seal it, the paint will just soak in and it'll look very flat. Always use Bounce. It's uh, like a PVA glue, but it has a foam rubberizer additive, so it works really well with foam. The other things you can use, this is easier to find, uh, tacky glue. I just put one coat of this as well as the Bounce. I don't mix this with water. And classic. Mod Podge, you can use this on your foam stuff too. 
So I'm gonna apply one coat with a foam brush. I'm gonna do this side first, and once it's dry, then I'll flip it to the other side. The Captain America Shield from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Build one yourself. This is Stealth from Heroes Workshop, and I'll see you guys next week with another build. And hit like, don't forget. So or else I'll go broke, and I can't make videos. I'm not kidding. Okay, bye.